Hey everyone, this is Matthew for, from Beekeeper Studio. I'm here to show you a new AI shell, and apologies for the audio, I'm in a hotel. Um, so this is a Sequila database. This is a database for my video store, my fictional video store. Here are all the movies that my store rents. Here are all the customers that rent them, and here are all the rental records for those movies. Now, instead of writing some SQL, which I would normally would do here, I'm gonna click New, Add AI Shell, and I'm gonna ask the AI Shell some questions instead. I've already entered my API key, but if you use it for the first time, you'll be prompted to do the same. I'm going to say, um, what are my top performing movies? My top performing movies. This is my database for my video store business. Um, and let's see what the AI shell can do. So the first thing to notice is the AI shell can guide itself. It gets the columns and relations for tables without you having to provide it information. Um, and it can execute SQL. So here you can see it's going to execute, it's going to want to run this query and I can tell it whether I want it to or not. And it'll produce output. This is fantastic. So it's going to give me that as a final output because it thinks it's done a good job. I think that is a pretty good job. That's the top 10. Um, that's fantastic. Let's ask it a follow-up question. So based on that, what are the, what are the best performing actors? The top Well, the top performing actors. So this is going to look at um, which actors make the most money for me is my video store rental. Maybe I should get more of their movies, right? So it's giving me another query to run. Ah, oh, here we go. It's it's messed up. So it knows that it's messed up and it's going to rewrite another query. I don't have to tell it. I don't have to tell it that it messed up. This is fantastic. I didn't even plan this. Um, and then the result, you see, we can see the top performing actors in my data set. Um, and this is a really great example. Like AIs get things wrong sometimes, just like humans. In this case, it can self-correct. It knows the output of the query was an error. And so it can run a new one and give me the final result. Um, should we, let's try and troll it. What do you think? You try and troll it. Um, did you make a mistake? We, he didn't make a mistake, but let's see if he did. Are those revenue numbers right? Can you double check your work? I haven't asked this before, so this demo might end badly, but it's gonna it's gonna do some uh, it's gonna do some uh, analysis of the data to verify that it has, in fact, given me the correct answer. So it's running a few queries. It's like looking at the results and saying, okay, is this correct? It's, so you can see it's going to actor. It's going for all the movies the actor in. It's looking at all the rental information for those actors. It's looking at the payment count, the rental count, and they appear correct. It has validated its work. Like, I can't tell you how much this has blown my mind that I can just demo this to you in two minutes, but help yourself. This is in the Beekeeper 5.3 beta. Go download it today from the Beekeeper Studio GitHub, and it'll be in general availability soon. Thanks very much.